the dramatic tool transforming intensity very slightly is our topic today on Limit Our Coffee Break. Let's what we can accomplish in 15 minutes or less, starting now. All right, everyone, so this is one of my favorite topics because the dramatic tool is my favorite tool. All right, um, and I know Skylum created it for me when I first started because it was my sports grit look. And that was 2015 that the sports grit look came about, and then they created it. So over the years, of course, that type of style starts to change. And now what I want to do is show you how I would change it for 2024. All right. So here we are. This was the image that started it all. My good buddy, Neil, um, I, I photographed this cowboy. Let's see if I have it set over here already. I do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna start out and let's do this. I'm gonna show you before and after. So here are my presets that I created. Here's a dramatic touch. And this is what the tool's gonna look like. There we go, look at that. Look at that, all right? So here it comes in before and after. Let's give it a second, before. And after, you see how I love that grit look. It's awesome. Now, what I want to do is show you how we created it, and then go back and show you how to create it to where we're giving it just a gentle touch. All right? So here's the edits. And if you notice, I just did basic development tool here. There's the dramatic tool. And then, of course, I did some stuff with the face, <coughs> add a little super contrast, and then structure. All right? So I'm going to discard all the changes. We'll start fresh. And I'm going to come down here to develop raw. And I'm just going to do just, just some basic adjustments to get started. Pump up the, the shadows just a little bit. Dial back some of the highlights. All right, he's looking good there. Uh, let's see. I do want to work on the black tone just a touch and bring out the whites just a little bit. And then for the colors, I do want to desaturate it just a bit, because I want to get rid of the red in his face, but I want to pump up the vibrancy just a touch. All right, before, after, nothing huge, but there's the change, all right? So I have that set. Let me make sure it got rid of everything. Yep, it did, good. All right, and notice that, by the way, that we had, a, we had other edits up here. The moment I went back and discarded it, it made sure I got rid of those other edits also, all right? So we're off to a good start. Here we are with the image. I like where it's at. Now I'm gonna come down here to my dramatic tool. Just this one tool, look at this, ready? Look at that. It improves color, detail. Um, or actually, th this right here, it, it improves the color and the detail, but it gives us that grit look. But what I want to do is, the, the, the most important part of it is this brightness and saturation. I want to come down here, and I want to dial it back a bit. There we go. And that saturation actually looks really good here, all right? So look before and after. Before, after, it's great. Um, it's a little too heavy. Let me dial it back just a touch. All right, there we are. I love what it's doing to the chaps. I love what it's doing to the wood. Here we are. But now his face, I do want to bring that out. So we'll come down to portraits. And for face, I'm going to go to an extreme so you can see it. Sure enough, I found the face that I wanted. And I'm going to put it right about there. All right, let's double check. Great, I mean, look how fast that was. So here's where that gentle touch comes in. So we created this, in fact, I'm gonna go a little bit more with the structure, which I normally wouldn't do, but I'll show you why we're gonna do that in a minute. I'm gonna boost it. Now structure is human aware. So it's not gonna mess with his skin, but it will affect the rest of the image, look at that. Just ever so slightly, 
all right? And once again, if we click the information icon here, mine's not showing, but it'll give you the information on what the tool actually does, all right? So I have that set. Now, here's that secret I was talking about. I'm gonna come down here to Actions. I'm gonna save it as a preset. And um, let's see, I put Dramatic Touch. Let's put Full. Full Dramatic, all right? So that's the Full Dramatic Touch. Now, ready for this? Here's the part where I'm talking about. I'm gonna revert this back to the original. Ready? If I click on dramatic, it gave me my full dramatic the way I want it. However, let's use the slider here now. Look at this. I'm gonna so if this is too much for you, if you look at this and say, yeah, that that's so 2015, it's too much. I want it to still look like a photograph. Well, now I'm gonna dial it back and look what it's doing for me. It's taking all of the tools that we added to this, and it's minimizing the strength equally on all of them. So there we are, look at that. I'm not sure if I could do before and after. Yeah, I can. Look, so before, after, I still have my grit look, but not at 100%. Do you see the difference? So I'm gonna put it right about there, and I have it set, look at that. So that's a really, really cool way, not just on the, the dramatic tool that I just did here, but when you create a really cool effect, you love it, save it as a preset, and then go back, and then from there, start over, you know, hit, uh, <clears throat> um, re remove all the edits, then apply that preset, and then use the opacity that I just showed you to dial it in 100% or dial it all the way back. So that's just another way of adding a gentle touch, not just in our dramatic tool, but in any of the tools. Now, since that was really quick, I'm gonna take it to another level, all right? So I'm gonna come in here, and actually, I'm gonna use this image here first. I will use this cowboy. I'm gonna crop them, and there we go, let's bring it down a bit. Yeah, right about here is good. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so here's another option. All right, so the tone map looks good, but now we're gonna apply some lightning uh, tools to it. We're gonna light it and shape it. So let's dial it back, move it over a bit. I love what it did to his chaps. Look at that, look, look, look at his chaps versus the original. The original looks good, but I really liked what it did to the chaps here. All right, now that we did this, I am noticing a little red tint towards his face. No problem, well let's come over here and we'll apply the dramatic tool. The amount, look at this. And the contrast is good, but here's that secret tool right down here. I wanna darken it a bit. Right about, yeah, right about to here. That looks good there. And the saturation, we'll dial it back. All right, that looks good. So now that I have it set, I love what it's doing with the grit look, but I need to shape it. So I can either use a vignette or why don't we use develop? And I'm gonna take develop. And what I wanna do with develop here, get to it, is there we go, the exposure. I wanna bring it down, all the way down, except I love what it's doing down in here. I love the wood. I don't like what it's doing this his face. So mask, brush, erase the effect just on him. There we go. Now we have almost like a spotlight effect coming to him. All right, that looks pretty good. And let's go back to the adjustment again. It's a little too much, right about there. All right, before and after. All right, good. So I, I love the effect that it's doing. It, it gives, it's giving me that grit look. I got it, it's looking good. Let's just double check. We have the dramatic, develop, 
And one more for this. I'm going to come in under color. And I do want to desaturate it quite a bit. There we go. Now I'm getting the skin tones I like. Right about there. And I still have the rest of it looking pretty good. All right. Why don't we add a little structure to it while we're at it? All right. And boost. There. All right. So there's a different version of it. Now I'm going to come in and save it. I called it Cowboy Joe last time. Let's call this Cowboy Carl. There we go. Cowboy Carl. All right, so we have it all set. And edit. And I'm going to discard the edit. There we are. So here's my tone map. Preset. Then I'm going to come over here to my preset. There's Cowboy Alec, or Cowboy Carl, rather. Got it here, and now do what we just said. I can come in full or dial it back. You decide how much you want it to, to appear and how much you don't want it to appear, and that's how we can manipulate this, all right? So there we have it. Again, we were able to use that slider. In fact, let me get back to it. We're able to use that slider right here. Look at now. Do you see the difference between full bore and just enough to where it still looks like a, a, a photograph, right? But look what look at the textures it's bringing out with that dramatic tool. It just makes it look so much better before, after, and then again. Here it is. You decide how much you want to use. All right. So. There we have it. I was able to show you how to add a gentle touch, really, to any technique. But since the dramatic tool is my favorite tool, I applied that. Um, so give it a try. Check it out. All right. Also, ready for this? It's happening again. Skylum Adventure Tours. So we'll be heading back to Iceland. And if you're interested, there's a QR code. You can scan that there. The date is going to be August. 17th through the 23rd. The activity level is going to be pretty easy. You'll see all the masters that will be joining us on the adventure. And here's the itinerary. We arrive. We're into the wild uh, Icelandic adventure. Then we start hitting off, and I'm not <laughs> even going to attempt to pronounce these names. In fact, let me hide this for a moment for you. There we go. And these will be the images that we're going to be capturing, you're going to have an incredible time. Let's see. Can I slide over? Nope, that was it. Oh, there we go. Yep. So look at these. These images here, and again, you'll have some of the top and most incredible um, Icelandic photographers on call with there is Jim Nix, Avi San, and the rest of them is Yuri. Um, but look, look how incredible. You'll be able to join in on the team and just have a great time. Right there is the tour. I will be going to this one again also. So if you're going to go, we'll have a great time hanging out. All right? Now, for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, this right... Oh, wrong one. It's this one right here. That's my good friend, the clever photographer. Here we are. If you want to join Coffee Break and stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment... Here is the direct link to the Zoom session, or you can watch it on the rebroadcast, which maybe a lot of you are actually doing. But if you want to join us live, you can stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment, where you can ask any questions whatsoever pertaining to this topic, photography, tech support, whatever it is. All right? So for those of you that are here, stick around. Everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you at the next Coffee Break.